deal with the situation, you're just like the Shogun. So strict. Oh, you think so? I thought I was rather accommodating. If it had been the Shogun, she would have decapitated Kujo Kamaji without a second thought. I do believe he was prepared for that outcome. I could see it in his eyes. The Kujo clan has undergone a dramatic change from its glory days to its present decline. Kamaji is hardly a great heir to the Kujo name, but... He has shown me how some things remain the same, even as the world around them changes. I also have you to thank. The things we experienced out on the streets, and the photo you took of me, they helped me come to this realization, too. So what's next for the Kujo clan? Will they get to carry on being in charge of the Tenryo Commission? Not a chance. Even if their heir was someone who showed promise, their past mistakes cannot be erased. Still, I will give them a little more time. After all, they are not the only ones who have made mistakes. The Shogun does not make mistakes. She is incapable of doing so. But I, as A, would like to offer my apologies. I have much to contemplate in the days to come. But at least, I can now see the way ahead. I think I'll leave that to the Shogun. The greatest threat to eternity is still the erosion that comes with time. As I said, the Shogun has a robust system to protect her against modification. This is because I anticipated that I myself would change over time. But, I've made up my mind. So I will do what needs to be done, no matter how difficult it is. Hmm. <laughs> this has certainly been a memorable series of events. Absolutely! You sorted out the Tenryo Commission, and the people in the city got to see a happy and healthy Shogun! All the awful rumors will disappear in no time! If you enjoyed your trip, we should get you out again sometime! No need. There's no place for such things in my life. Also, please stop making it sound as if I somehow need the company. Okay, I'm ready to head back now. My period of solitude will now continue, but it will not last too much longer. I will leave you humans to deal with any minor issues in the meantime. Okay, see you next time! Considering a lot of what happened was pretty unexpected, things seem to have worked out surprisingly well in the end! The only thing left to do is return the past permit to Yaimiko! you know. Well then, you'll have to tell me all about it. <laughs> How amusing. The almighty Shogun goes downtown, and suddenly she's like a wide-eyed country girl trying to find her bearings in the big city. Marvelous. What a shame I didn't get to see it for myself. It's fine. She wouldn't mind. Really, she wouldn't. So, from what you were saying, it seems that she has finally begun to comprehend what form eternity should take? That's the most important outcome of this trip. To be honest, I wasn't expecting you'd make such great progress when I lent you the pass permit. Yeah, it seems like she's not gonna force everything to stay the same way anymore. To put it nicely, even deities indulge in wishful thinking. 
To put it more bluntly, there are things that even the Seven can't do when faced with something even more powerful than themselves. <laughs> anyway, it sounds like you had a very pleasant trip and even had the chance to see A's less formal side. Next time you wish to see her, you can come and take the pass permit from me again. She would never admit to it, but she does, in fact, get quite lonely. What? But she said she doesn't need company. Because she is a god. It's not that gods don't need the company of others, just that the idea of a god having company seems indulgent to her. But you don't belong to this world. Perhaps you are just the company she needs. <laughs>